Hello once again, my people. It is I, Veed, and welcome back to Dongan Rampa. Um, this episode. I don't know what's going on this episode. Last episode, that's how I do these videos. Last episode, Mondo died because we found out that he was the one who committed the crime of murdering Chihiro. And um, I didn't want to see my baby boy go, but my baby boy went. And Chihiro's also dead, and I like Chihiro, but... Fucking, a fucking books, bitch! Like, these fucking- Oh, there's some dust up on this bitch. Hi. Um, this fucking Monokuma right here is not having it, so... Let's just get started. Let's just see where this episode takes us. Oh, Asahina. What's up, girl? I shouldn't cry, but I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... You know, bitch, don't murder anyone. <sighs> donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Oh, look at your room. It's so decorated. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut ho holes, malasadas. Okay. Oh, God of donuts. I'm praying the, for a wonderful encounter. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. The fuck was that? Huh? huh? We just got out of a murder. I don't want another murder. Huh? What's that sound? Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. Oh god. But... I'm super scared, but it is is someone there? Whoa, that's fucking Chihiro, hey bitch. A next generation legend, stand tall galactic hero. Daily life. Alright, this is something. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Tokyo and Miyaku still refuse to show up. Um... And I haven't seen Miss Ahi Sahina anywhere. Hmm. She said her oh, she said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it uh, easy in her room for today. Oh, that is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy, mm. which is exactly what makes me worry. So then, so it's just the seven of us, son. It looks that way. How about that? Time like this where a committee chairman needs to get things on going with a bang! Oh, uh, he's still shocked about Mondo. He still doesn't know how to deal with Mondo's death. Impossible. Or not. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that since everything that happened yesterday. One look on his face showed he hasn't slept in a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. Oh man! My baby boy right here. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out that Mondo killed Chihiro. And then, having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well... So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found a way out, and we have no idea if hell's ever gonna come. Hmm, it's now I'm all... <laughs> No, I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> oh my god, why am I like burping, hiccuping, whatever. We simply have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. 
What? To live here forever? Well. Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our need is seen to. Our every need is seen to. What are you, why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so, so does its perversion. In which case, is the article's situation not... <laughs> Demon, <laughs> angel, pretty, punny, princess. Huh? Hmm. Here we go. Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny ear, Amazon cat girl, dog boy, robo justice, the galactic king, and... and... What I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. The mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since talk is like catatonic. <laughs> and the oldest one here. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna work together. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, I ate breakfast and there's still like some crumbs stretch in my throat. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, well, right? I mean, since the trap fire is over and all, Perhaps. there should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, uh, then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> <laughs> there, there may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Er, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me and so I <gasps> oh my, you called for me and so I appeared. Genocide! Uh, nobody called for you. Uh, um, what the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Togo? Yes! God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I can just be my murderous self! Which is why I decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. <laughs> Plus, I have another battle to fight. <laughs> the whole killer with the split personality type is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. No I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um, cliches is the word. But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Oh, come on! You've got to back me up here! Even the biggest stars need a little people to hold them up! <laughs> oh, she's laughing. <laughs> well, whatever we do to get today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. Right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> Bitch, me too, Jill. Me too. Damn. So we are first to eat breakfast with a murderer. And after our much-needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Okay, but like, Toko's my everything now because of this fucking bitch. Alright, time to go explore! Yes. Uh, can I go into the shop or do I have to wait until I finish investigating? Well, I'd probably have to do that during free time. Which now I've learned my mistake. I am um, using a cheat sheet because fuck that. I don't want to figure out what everyone likes. All right, let's try going up the stairs. Yeah, what's up, uh, fucking Gassy Hero? Nothing's changed on this floor. The only difference is that gate blocking the stairs leading up to the third floor is gone. I guess that's what they want us to head next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. Well, let's go find out, bitch. Damn. Let's go. Is it over here? I forgot. No. Where the fuck is it? Hold on. So, that's the one that's going down. Where's the one that's going up? Oh, that's the one that's going up. Hello? Alright. The third floor of Hope's Geek Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Well, starting from there, uh, these are the stairs that go down. So since we're at it, let's check some of the classrooms that are over here. Getting tired of this. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Monokuma. Yes, I'm gonna leave this area. Okay, 3A. What's over here? Anything else? 
Despair Squadron, Monokuma. Oh my fucking god. What's up, Sakura? So in the, end. the windows up here are also barred with metal plates. Not surprising, I suppose. So, escape still looks impossible. But I better check all the other metal plates again, just to be sure. Yeah, true. Alright. Let's see here. Oh god. Let's see what's over this way. Uh, rec room? What, like a... Oh, like a game room! Okay, hmm, so this is... Let's see. A recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and a tool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our bedroom our boredom at bay. <laughs> oh, hey Monokuma. Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then. And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Oops! Nothing, never nine. No, no, no! Anyway, that's it for my explanation. Bye-bye! Okay, that was weird. Like, magazines are kinda what, Monokuma? What the fuck? What's he just said? I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. Oh, how disappointing. Really? Alright, I mean, I guess we can, like, examine what's in here. Oh. Is this, uh... No, I don't want to leave the area yet. Um, okay, let's check this real quick. There's a copy of Othello, uh, of Othello here. I'm pretty bad at it, though. Yeah, Monokuma coin! I have so many now. Uh, there's a table here. It's kind of similar to the desk in the classroom, but also kind of not. Uh, let's see here, that's another surveillance camera. Here's a pool table. A pool table isn't normal school equipment. Oh, it's noon! Oh, I lost the number two spot. Fuck. Alright, whatever. Uh, a pool table isn't normal school equipment. Is this thanks to Monokuma or does the school buy it? I don't know, sis. You're gonna have to figure that out yourself. A firm looking leather couch. It looks pretty comfortable. Uh, what's that? There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here or was it always part of the school? Yes! More shit. Okay. And this. There are all different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular updates, what's the point? Oh, that's not what I wanted to click! Thank you. And, ooh, hello. Uh, this looks like some kind of bottle, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's just for decoration or something. Alright, yeah, I'm good to leave this room now. I'm good to leave it be. All right. Um. Oh, Kirigiri, what's up? Hello. It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Ooh. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Ooh, physics lab. All right. Well. Well. Okay. You can get lost in here. Shit. What's in here? Is this the art lab that you were talking about? Yes, it is. At first glance, this looks like any normal art room, but something about it seems off or multiple somethings. Hey, what's up? Wow, hmm. wow, well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they also collect all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Hifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. Um, I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Cherubo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Rapongi Saburo Rapongi makes. 
Charonvo's uh, ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen as his Mama Cat series. Pumpkin Head is like a little sculpture fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. Saburo Roppongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musumi series, which led to a world right tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. You know nothing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> It begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. Awesome. Okay, so... Ooh, that's a... That's a... That's a Bane-looking motherfuck. That's a statue of Neo. I never heard of anyone using a Neo statue for life-drawing classes or whatever. Uh, then there's a few things over here. What are you? It's a locker. But it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Um, it's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art room-ish. There's something else over here. The wall? There are paintings lining the walls. Is this really art? It just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. Oh, yes! Hello! Okay, what's on this side? Oh, uh, Monokuma statue. Of course, there's gotta be at least one. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. Give me that fucking coin, bitch. Alright, what's back here? Um, ooh. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, this is... This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different art thingies. But what is this, though? There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Oh, that's the three! Oh, that's the, that's the, oh, Chihiro, Leon, and fucking Mondo! Huh? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there was no metal plating covering it. Which must mean whatever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by, Oh, hey, Monokuma. That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had at, ans uh, at answers evaporated. Ah. You peeked, didn't you? Well, that's all there are some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that they were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on? Wait, what's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you just give me a straight answer? Uh, never mind, I don't even know why I bother asking. God damn it, Monokuma, just let me ask shit. Let me know why you're planning all this shit. Damn. Alright. Oh, uh, what can I examine in here? Just two things? Okay. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use, uh, they use them for making sculptures. And what are you? A dolly. They must use it to move all the statues around. Anything else? Nope. Bye! I'm done here. I am done in these rooms. Now we need to go see where else I'm supposed to go. Which I'm assuming is this way. Um, okay, that's gated off to the fourth floor. But what's over here? Oh, the physics. Oh, the physics room that uh, Kirigiri was talking about. Ooh, hello? This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Oh, hey, Ishii! Hey, Taka, do you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, Kiyotaka! Taka! Alright, 
What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! Wh what? What? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope Speak. The ultimate physicist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. What tragedy? Bitch, what tragedy? A time machine? Seriously? So, it can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. <gasps> one minute. Wah -wah? Hmm? You sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey, um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you can even live on Mars. But what's the discombobulated gravity and deadly low temperatures? You probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it, it's, on, it's in your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier. And more than that. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Oh, and I just got a Monokuma coin for that. Awesome. Oh, what the fuck is up here? Oh, that's a camera. Um. And let's just look like... What is this? This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but... I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue on where to start with this. Okay, um, there's something back here. They must use these physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kind of stuff I don't even recognize. Look at me getting all these coins! And then, is that where that was pointing at? It was where it was pointing at. What's back here? Oh, is that a camera? Did I just see a camera? I don't know. Oh, hey Jill. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Ah, oh, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of, uh, formalite is almost unbearable. It's... Excited. It's so tempting. Oh, I just want to dunk myself right now, right in it. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Alright, so all of these... What is this? There's a bunch of files here. Probably old lab files and research data. Uh... And there's that! Oh god! Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust too. They obviously haven't been used in a long time. And finally... This is a tarp. There isn't anything strange about it, it seems perfectly ordinary to me. BAM! Getting all these Monokuma coins to get all them presents, bitch! Alright, yeah, I think we're done here. Yep, leave the equipment room. And I don't know what else there would be in here. Oh yeah, there is a camera. Look, BAM! Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime-style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was, like, actual clues. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should just head to the dining hall. And that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna see some more story and develop. Oh, hey, Asahina. When I got to back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Uh. Uh. Hina? I tried talking to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Oh yeah, hmm? I... Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> Yeah, I ate a few donuts, and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well. 
Well, my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about the burst. Mm. Miss Adelina is pretty much the same, it looks like. Just a second! Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk! Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. S sorry. <laughs> Besides that, you... Uh-huh. <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck? Did you conceive did you convince them to double up on milk production? Bastard. Stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um uh, anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Oh, he still doesn't want to talk. <sighs> right. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm gonna talk to Hero. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byakia a little while ago. <laughs> What? Where? Where was he? Uh, you're you're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, um... He was in the locker room. He had like a huge sack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no. So that's where he was hiding. I will let him get away from me. <laughs> Alright, Jill. Awesome. Good to fucking hear. Huh? She just ran off. Is, Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Okay, but what else do you gotta talk be? about? Yeah, I totally screwed Byakuya over. I think Byakuya knew exactly what he was doing. He probably went to the boys' locker room specifically, so she couldn't bother him. Uh, Hina! So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but... I did make one discovery. Could it, be? it didn't have to be a donut-related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right! Never mind, it's about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplies would be fine. Mm. I did look. I, I did- Sorry, wrong voice, wow. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache messaging and over-the-counter stuff. I see. I see. That's disappointing. Mm. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure if it's that disappointing. Um... What you gotta say, mm -hmm. bitch? Ooh, oh god! Ugh. There was an art room on the third floor and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm. A digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. Looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe? It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well... On top of that, it appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know Rude, she's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Punchy Princess. Good to fucking hear, Hifumi. Good to fucking hear, I guess. Oh, you recognize this, Hifumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have no idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? <laughs> Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation. Where did you find it? In the physics lab. <laughs> it's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it on the first day along with my phone. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah, but look at it! It's got all messed up! It's like someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not mint condition. I don't need it anymore. Uh, but weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Um... Who else is hiding in the back over there, but what do you gotta say? I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls in the room were blocked off. <sighs> I wish they'd give this a rest already for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. 
Just be just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them bulged. So in the but end. It would seem escape via the third floor is impossible as we feared. I see. Uh what you got, Celeste? <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> Will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? You're the ultimate gambler. No, you're not. Correct. Um, there was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Oh, yeah. Um, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing here? Mm. Is that device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. Oh, Taka. What you got? It's no use. Okay, I've heard what everyone has to say, so it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? It's been something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. Huh? A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, 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 no. Not that kind of weird. It was... A picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro, all together. Why? Those three. And the three of them were laughing. Oh, um... It showed the three of them together, laughing. When could, have been, when could have it been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then... Then, the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see... But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to the school. You probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. I put a spell on you, and now you're gone. Sorry, it's Halloween. <laughs> no, I saw it, I'm telling you. But if it wasn't taken before we got here, or after we got here... I bet they're all still alive! They left the school and then took that picture! Is that right? That's impossible, after all. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Each either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's... Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. Oh, and that was in our bathroom too, bitch. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay, what you got, Celeste? <laughs> what you got, female thing? There is something that's been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually... It's about Hina. <laughs> w me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever somebody lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell, something that you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets a little bit longer. Huh? Oh my god, just like Pinocchio. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Huh? Oh. But your action just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's no fair! She is the ultimate gambler, after all. She knows how to do that. <laughs> if you are going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. Are you I'm feeling sure guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all! But... It's just... I mean, I have a reason for it. Then what's your reason? Spill it out, queen. Spill it, spill it. I'm pretty sure none of us are going to mine unless it's murder. A reason. What you got, girl? What you got, girlfriend? To be honest, I, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? No. I saw it. Saw what? 
A ghost. Mm -hmm. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? B but I mean, ghosts are. What the heck? See, I told you what you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but Tina. I believe you. No matter what anybody else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Um, so, it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep, probably because I was afraid that somebody was going to murder my fucking face. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So, to try to cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Hmm? Donuts? Donuts again? Honestly. You ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. Yeah. Anyway, please continue. Bye. Well, so, I left my room and headed for the warehouse. For the warehouse? Why the, where why the warehouse, queen? But then I started hearing a strange sound. Oh, that's dumb. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape, surrounded by pale green, right, uh, pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? Me too, bitch. No, no way! A g g ghost? Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as most case of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well, then all we have to do go is see it for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. N maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. <laughs> You're gonna try and see a g g ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. I, I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. Mm. And how about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. I guess that's a yes. All right. And with a new scenery, oh. With a new scenery, I am going to pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Veed. I hope they had a wonderful time watching this. I hope they had a wonderful time watching us get to explore this new room, um, explore some more of this uh, Hope's Peak Academy, and then finally we're gonna see what this ghost shit is all about. Uh, make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe buttons down below. You know how about a YouTuber out? Make sure to hit that notification bell so in that way you don't miss up on any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!